Hi there, my name is DJ Hombre from Digital DJ Tips and today we're looking at the XDJ Aero by Pioneer. It is a controller as you would expect any other controller to be but as well as being a, a, re a regular MIDI controller that can map to tractor it also has a USB drive so you can load tracks onto both decks and record in WAV format. Uh, so this already puts it at a similar level to uh, something like the Mixdeck Quad by Newmark or the uh, SCS um, 4DJ by Stanton. But what differentiates this from the rest of the pack is the wireless, connect work, uh, wireless network. So as you boot up the XDJ Aero it creates an ad hoc Wi-Fi network which you can connect up to four different um, devices and they can be iOS, Android or a laptop or a MacBook. So if you've got tracks in the Record Box app on any of those devices, you can start loading them onto the XDJ Aero. Now before we get too giddy about the Wi-Fi uh, connectivity, and there is a lot of rumours about this on the internet at the moment, um, if you read the manual carefully, there are a whole bunch of settings on the XDJ Aero. So you can set your encryption settings. So currently it's set to uh, WEP you can set a, uh, a password key and you can make that as obscure as you like and so that then only trusted people can access the XTJ Aero so not everyone in a club will be loading tracks on here only four people and four trusted people at that you can also lock people from loading tracks directly onto a deck that is currently playing and I'd recommend that as a, as a starter anyway because it's easy to do that in error so with this in mind, although it's designed and advertised for home use, you could use it out in, in the wild, as it were. So you could, it would be brilliant for mobile DJs because you'd be able to take requests off people. You could have maybe the barman uh, with an iPhone in his pocket with a whole bunch of tracks uh, on there that have been prepared and you can uh, quickly load tracks off there. Um, the XDJ Aero unit features a whole bunch of other standard Pioneer stuff including some really high quality effects and um, some nice little looping functions as well. So let's take a closer look. Okay so for each deck you have this large metallic jog wheel which is touch sensitive so very light touch you don't need to press down hard on it and the sides of the jog wheel act like uh, the pitch bend buttons on other decks perhaps. So as you drag the deck backwards slightly, it will slow the track and if you push it forward it will speed it up slightly, temporarily. There are no pitch bend buttons by the um, tempo control here. And at the top you have the master tempo button which acts a bit like key lock so you can change your um, tempo but the key of the track stays in place. Now you have a button here called auto beat loop which is cool, you can uh, change that and you can see at the top of the screen that loop figure changing. So you go from 32 right down to one thirty second of a beat um, to auto loop. Handy for stretching out um, little beats of a track. Now at the top you've got the, um, the effects section which double up as sample launches. Now in the current version of the firmware the samples included are, are fairly standard. Um, in the next version of the firmware you'll be able to load your own samples into the, uh, into the device itself. So you, what, the, what are the effects like? Well you've got trans which is a bit like a gate effect, flanger and echo are fairly self-explanatory and roll is like a, a quick looping um, fat boy slim type uh, build up. Now you've got uh, two rotary controls, you've got one here called beat which when you change it at the top you can see the um, figure changing from 64 right down through all the fractions down to 1 16th and the level uh, control over here as well which is a bit like a wet dry effects parameter. I found the effects to be pretty good quality uh, as you'd expect from Pioneer really. Now in the centre section here you've got uh, your standard um, three band EQ type stuff with your trim controls at the top um, you've got your headphone uh, mix control over on the left and a nice little high pass low pass filter here 
which is uh, which is really quite handy. And the crossfader has an adjustable crossfader curve too for anyone that really wants to get uh, heavy with their with their scratching. Now at the front of the unit, there's a, a small headphone jack and a large headphone jack, depending on what uh, headphones you've got. And at the top up here, uh, you've got a USB slot, which means you can load tracks that have been processed on the record box app um, on your MacBook or your laptop to either deck or bass decks, and you can also record in high quality WAV format to that USB drive at the same time. Now the, uh, the LED stuff at the top can be adjusted. You can adjust the contrast, the color, and the language as well. So you have a, a bunch of um, settings. You can even reverse uh, the, the way that looks in terms of um, color on background. And there's a bunch of stuff over here regarding what your source is for each deck. So whether it's a record box source, whether it's coming via MIDI, or whether it's from the USB drive as well. Now there's a whole stack of Pioneer videos on YouTube, as I said, which go into detail about how you configure and set up your, um, your device. And they're, they're really, really useful and help you get set up pretty quickly. Okay, so connecting your iOS device or Android device to your XDJ Aero is incredibly simple. You go to your uh, settings here on iOS, you choose your um, your XDJ Aero name Wi-Fi network there. This is called Aero Gadget, so we're all connected. And you go straight to Recordbox. So you come into Recordbox, press load, and that makes a connection to your XDJ Aero. And as it does that, the little blue LED on the XDJ Aero will light up. And once it's connected, I can go and choose any track off here. Let's just choose a random, random track. I can choose a track based by BPM. Let's choose Doctor Who by Orbital. And this shows me uh, the XDJ Aero. It's got no tracks on either deck, so I can pop it on deck A. And there you go, it's loaded on, sorry, deck one. And I can go and choose a second track to pop on deck B as well. Now those tracks are loaded pretty instantly. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, the LED has picked it up. So that loads pretty instantly. Um, okay, I am situated very close to the XDJ unit and this one has got the Doctor Who track in as well. And obviously it displays the BPM data. It's got a Q button. That's good because I set all my Q points on, uh, on the record box app. Let's go over here and see if this has picked up my Q point as well. Oh. Yep, perfect. So it is very clever stuff. It allows you to prepare your um, tracks and your library up front on your portable device. So that's the XDJ Aero. It is a complex piece of kit, but after a bit of getting used to, uh, it is really, really good fun. The touch sensitive jog wheels, I found perhaps a little bit um, slippy for my liking uh, in terms of scratching. What I mean by that is if I set up a scratch um, to start at the 12, 12 o'clock point, if I keep drilling that same scratch over and over and over again, that sample uh, appears to drift backwards on the dial. Um, and I've had that on uh, an old uh, CD deck in the past, um, and I think that was corrected with a firmware update. So perhaps uh, that could be addressed. Uh, it might even be my user error, of course, in which case, apologies to Pioneer, but perhaps it might be something they would consider in a future firmware update to just correct that. The Record Box app functionality is really, really great because you can start doing your homework, your preparation for your set in advance on the train or on a plane, wherever. Uh, you can start setting a cue point, you can start correcting those beat grids, which means all the beat related functionality of the device is locked in and will run perfectly. 
Uh, the, uh, the ability to record your set direct to USB is fantastic as well, that's very handy. Um, I, I, I really liked it. The, the one thing I would say is that on Rekordbox it allows you to set three hot cue points. Now unfortunately on the XDJ Aero it doesn't recognise those three hot cue points. Um, so I thought perhaps you could use the shift button to unlock some of that, but um, it seems not at the moment. In a future version of the firmware, which is coming in the next month or so, you'll be able to load your own samples into the XDJ Aero for use. Um, and also, uh, what else did I find uh, quite cool? The, the jog drum functionality. So as you tap on the, the surface of the jog wheel, it acts as a quick fire way to uh, start the queue. Now that might seem a bit daft, but I've got a cue button to do that anyway. Um, by using the jog drum in combined with the samples and the trans effects, you can get some really nice, um, almost uh, transformer style scratching going on. <laughs> So it's, it's aimed at the home market, but I, I see no reason why you couldn't use this out in the wild, such as a club or a mobile gig anywhere. And the, the wireless connectivity is brilliant. You're no longer tethered by a piece of USB cable. Uh, you can have your iPhone in your pocket and you can scroll through the tracks uh, using the device itself. So it, it is quite cool and um, a full review will be available soon on Digital DJ Tips.